This doesn't look too inviting though. There could be a druid living in here. Very old now with the with the with the thingies on your face, you little addict. Hi there, we are Nikki and Gert. We are from tiny Belgium. During the 2020 COVID pandemic, we converted our own camper van, Nigel. We quit our jobs, and now we are full time traveling through Europe with our furry friends. Nala, Sigi, and Moya. Together, we are Euronauts. So I asked Google again, and I found another spot with natural bathing areas. Um, it's supposed to be very beautiful uh, Google rates it very high so we're gonna try and go there it's like an hour drive but we have to stop and dump our pool first so it seems Siggy and Moya are becoming real good friends look how cute I don't think Moya is really liking it because she's already very hot and Siggy is very fluffy, so very hot too. All right, so we emptied the toilet in the gray water tank and we're always grateful for free places to dump your waste. But we don't think it's a good idea to put uh, a fixed roster on top of your black water drain. Um, it's disgusting. Anyway, it's gonna be fun this summer when everybody's coming down here. Um, so yeah, just a little tip: make sure people can open the drain completely so they can dump everything in there. Anyway, uh, we're all set, so good to go. Let's start our beast. There we go, and find a nice station. There we go. Okay, let's. Put in a GPS and let's go there. Well, I know I've been complaining a lot about the roads here in Italy, but actually uh, those are not that bad here at the Adriatic side. And they drive less like maniacs here. But could be the wood there is like uh, Il Giro d'Italia, so a famous cycling uh, contest, if I'm correct. Well, could be that that's the reason why this road is so good. All right, so a new park up. Not as pretty as uh, the one we came from, but it uh, doesn't matter. These two lovely old people on the bench will keep an eye on it. <laughs> Seems to be another old soccer field. It's green though. We're gonna look for some... Springs, so we, like natural baths. Natural baths? Yeah. All right. Oh. What is that? No idea. Should we go that way? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Sportivi, I guess that's the soccer field. And then... Tomb? Tomb? Yes, 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 we hear the water, eh? I guess we found it. Can go take a dip? <laughs> so babe, yes? you want to go for a swim now? I think I'm going to keep my swimming legs for tomorrow. Yeah? And hope the weather is... no, the weather. It's going to be a little bit better, like sunshine, come, because it's still hot, but not hot enough. Nope. Okay, now me. La -la -la.
Careful. Whoa, okay. Yeah. It's uh <laughs> Don't bring your grandmother here. So I really hope it's gonna be uh, 30 degrees next day because this doesn't look too inviting though. It's, it's very clean water, don't get me wrong. But I guess it's a lot more inviting when it's doing 30 degrees Celsius outside. Oh wow, wow, that is cool man. And you can really feel the cold breeze coming off the water. It's Wow. <laughs> I think we've proven that Italy is more than Tuscany, old cities and beaches filled with campings. Oh, wow. If you just look a bit further. Look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. I'm not gonna jump, don't think it's deep enough, but I really get some kind of canyoning vibe now. <laughs> it's like a natural water slide. You see, we've visited Tuscany, we visited Siena, Pisa, you know, all Amalfi Coast, all the touristic stuff you have to do according to people. But this, this really makes us happy. Ooh, I think this is it. it. Looks like a tomb. No, it's not it. It's not a tomb? I think so, no. rocks. There could be a druid living in here. Definitely. I mean, you could be a druid. Druidess. I mean, you're creepy. You look intoxicated all the time. <laughs> I mean, this just keeps going. There's even fishes in the water. Forel. I don't know the English name. Okay. Okay, I guess this is the tomb. Let's go check it out. But, I don't know. This looks like they could have put dead people here. But well, there's a sign down there, we can read it later. Cool, cool, cool. Don't drop down, doggy. Oh. Yeah. This is kind of cool, though. It's a bit tricky. As I said, don't bring your grandmother. Okay, so it's the tomb and it's in Italian. So let's put Google Translate out of it well, on top of it. Don't really trust these Italian bridges. It looks recent, but I just think they use some quality screws. So we're trying to go back up to the abbey, up the rock. Well, it's a quite adventurous path. I guess we'll do this tomorrow, until the end. But we hear thunder in the distance. So I think it's best if we head back to the van to see how this is gonna turn out because we've already been wet today once and I think one time is enough oh good monkey uh. notice I just translated it into English it says that uh, you can encounter landslides and fallen trees and snow um, I think we got that so yeah sounds exactly 
the kind of trail we like. But now we're back on a bigger trail, just back to the abbey or monastery. Heading back to the van, getting hungry. We can stop at the pizza place. There is no pizza place. There, there is, is also not a McDonald's. There is a pizza place. Where? On the roof. Ooh. Interesting. But definitely closed. <laughs> <laughs> ah, closed. Got that. The pizza place. Hmm. It looks close. Oh. Oh. Muy bien. So, I kind of forgot to film the rest of the evening in the dinner and stuff because this little asshole couldn't get in the litter box because this fantastic practical device of a soda stream fell in front of the litter box so she peed on the bed it's kind of disgusting on Nikki's side who is really not happy about it not amused nobody's happy about this anyway yeah we had to clean this up you can see now the blanket is out of the cover and it means that tomorrow we'll have to go to the cleaners because we only have two sets of clean bed sheets and we were all we were already down to the second one of course so yeah fan life reality fan life with cats big fun Yeah, I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to do a little hike. Well, walk first to a tower. Should be a torre. And then the idea is to come back through the path of yesterday and have some refreshing times at those uh, pools. I wanted to do the refreshing times two times. So go swim first. Go hike. Go swim again! Whoa. This is gonna take a while. Moya is excited too, huh? Moya, Moya, come here, come here. Aki. Oh, I forgot she's Spanish. Hey! So this little rascal has been eating things that fell from a tree and then barfing it out. Two seconds later, very nice. So direction of the torre. So Nikki decided she wants to have a dip right now. So yeah, why not? Alright, so time to head out. Alright, this is where we went to the right yesterday to go back to the van, to Nigel. And now we're going straight on and that's it. 30 minutes, 20 minutes ago. It was 40 minutes, so they, those, those must be Italian minutes. It's a lie. It's a lie, Let's see in all trails. Yeah, we've been walking for 37 minutes now, and uh, I think Nikki's bath took no more than 7, ten, maybe 10 minutes. So, <laughs> have to be careful with these indications. So we walked for 7 more minutes, and now it's only, only 50 minutes more. And then goes to nowhere, to, uh, I don't know, a tree turned upside down. You ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's go. Doggy up front. Always. Always. We're back on a narrow path. And the falling trees. Falling trees, part of the falling trees. Falling trees. So, yeah, it looks like a cage. A 
a side river. And there's not a lot of water. I guess this is full of water in the beginning of spring when the snow is melting from the mountains because I think this area has uh, some of the highest mountains in, in Italy, at least of the, uh, the southern part, not counting the Alps. It's not a steep climb and it's getting quite hot. Luckily most, most of the walk is in the shade. I think we're almost there. Moya is uh, hunting lizards again. She's been obsessed with them ever since we arrived in Italy. It's really getting, becoming a problem. Yeah, this dog doesn't know her limits. She obsesses very fast about something. First it was me, now it's the lizards. I'm curious about what it's going to be, what it is going to be next. Here we are. From this side it looks almost like a complete tower, but it's only one wall that's uh, still up. And I should learn to put my drone in the rucksack by default. Because I believe this would give me some very nice imagery. It's huh. cool. It's pretty high. So, come from down there. There in the distance. There's still some snow on the mountains. We found a nice stone seat, it's almost made to sit on and the water from the source is really tasty. Mm -hmm. It's actually the first time that Moya wants to drink from something that's not her own bowl, so that's good. I guess she's thirsty enough. The wild is the, the wild. <laughs> What's next? You're gonna learn to swim? You're gonna love water? Okay, bye. I wanna get See you back at the river. So we're back at the river. At the same, uh, we're walking the same path back, and it's funny because it looks like a total different walk. Just doing it uh, in the other direction. You just. Yeah, you see different things. It's really funny. Most of our walks are round trip. But, yeah, this one we had no choice. It really looks different. Uh, could be that we just... Could be that we just really like this place. So we're back at the van again, and uh, while Nikki is gonna wash her hair, I'm gonna take a look at the brake here because it's making some uh, some weird, some crackling noises, like like when you crack your fingers. That sounds when I'm applying the brake and then uh, take a turn to the right. Then. So I got the wheel off. It's really easy if you got some tools with you. It's not that hard to lift the car. Anyway, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Everything's fine. Um, normal wear and tear. While I'm at it, I'm gonna replace these uh, brake pads because I have other ones. 
from a better known German brands, a little bit more expensive. So I've read that sometimes they squeak less than the cheap ones. I think these are cheap ones because I don't know the brand. Also I used some copper spray the last time, some anti-seize. But I read and I experienced that it dries out and it's not really a lubricant. So this time I'm gonna use silicon paste, which should be better. So this is what it should look like with the sensor installed. Okay, so with all the wheels back on the van, we're gonna head out again. Uh, oh, Nikki is gonna enter the GPS coordinates and we found, actually she found some sort of sulfur pool. So very blue, hazy water that smells. She said, but it's cold. It's very cold. It's it's cold, so it's no no hot springs this time. But it's hot, so but I can't go in because she thinks I'm smelly after that. You are. <laughs> we arrived at the park. We can smell it, the sulfur. I don't but care. We're in Italy. We we go in. It seems closed. No. But screw it. Okay, so we hear people, so we think it's not really closed, it's Italian closed. So there is, oh, there is parking. There is also a lot of this stuff. It's super nice, but be glad you can't smell this. You look, you look very old now with the with the, thing, with the thingies on your face, you little addict. This is so the park, yeah, it is officially closed. People still go in to have fun, um, and I don't know. I saw some posters for rescue action, so again, I guess. They're out of money or they went bankrupt and they don't have any more money to maintain it or something. Uh, could be nice, but shouldn't especially drive here or something to see it. But if you're in the neighborhood, why not? Now we're gonna find a spot for the night, uh, away from the mosquitoes. so we found a spot on park for night of course um, it's some sort of picnic area and there is a bar we asked if we can if we can stay here and it's free I don't know probably they maybe don't own this land I don't know but we're gonna drink something over there just to show our appreciation so we entered this, this sort of park bar, super cool people, relaxed, and they spoke English, thank God, finally. No. Uh, so we had... Uh, One of them? Yeah, two of them. Yeah. Two of them spoke English, like decent conversation-wise. <laughs> that, that's cool. And we had two beers uh, just to thank them for yeah, letting us stay here. Duck. <laughs> you know the drill already? I mean, you wouldn't say that you are in Italy if you're seeing these. 